Hey guys, um, today's video is going to be about my shopping trip that I had today. I went to somewhere called Dalton Shopping Retail Park um, and obviously all the sales were on in the shops there. So got quite a few things to show you today, some of them I'm, well most of them I'm excited about. Um, before we do that, I'm going to show you something that I got yesterday and I forgot to show you, which was from B&M. Um, and it was the Max Factor Lipfinity. I think this was two or three pound. Um, it is a lip tint, so it's like a pen, not like a full tip. And this is Mystic or Mauve. And I've had this on today and I've got it on now. Don't know if you can see that well. But it's quite nice and a couple of quid, so why not? So, the other thing I was going to update you on was the eyeliners, which I've done in my first video, which was a Poundland home and I've used those today and yesterday and they're actually really good. Um, I've tried the purple one and the blue one so the next one I need to try is the glittery one but they actually are good on the waterline like I was saying um, and quite a bit does come off of them so three eyeliners for a pound is good and they'll keep me going for a while and the other thing was the Herbal Essences Dry Shampoo uh, I had said I wasn't really sure about using anything other than Batiste because I've tried different ones before and didn't like them but I tried it today and I think it's alright um, nothing much to report, it doesn't have much of a smell um, but it just does what a dry shampoo would do, so it's alright just to shove in your handbag, so that's what I'll be using that for. Um, so on to today, so like I say, I went to Dalton Park, and I'm going to start with the works. So I'm really excited about what I got from the works. Um, in yesterday's video, I showed you this meal planner. And that's to plan your meals with, but now I've got something else that's quite exciting. I don't know if anyone else has seen these before. Um, in the past when I've been doing Slim World, I've kept like a diary of my own, so writing down each day what was good, um, like tips that I can go back to if I needed them. Um, but I found this. Actually, as I got to the tail, so it was just a last minute thing, and I've looked at it and it's really, really good. So it's called A Diet Doodle Diary, illustrated by Julie Mackey. Now, this should have been £10, and I got it for £2.99. And basically, this is to document your daily diet so I think it's got 30 weeks worth of pages so it tracks your diet for 30 weeks um, which I think is pretty good you can look back and see the progress that you've made in 30 weeks and it's a little bit of incentive to keep you going so I'll just show you what some of the pages are like um, some good ones. Try and find the one I was looking at earlier on. So, should have put a bookmark in it, I think. Right here. So, this is two pages here. And I'll just read them because it'll be hard to read. So, and the first one it says 
glue two motivational photos of yourself on these pages. Keep it positive. Instead of faffed pictures, choose to fit pictures. And then on the other side it says, think of a time when you were slimmer or when you were feeling happy and active, even as a child. If you've been there before, you can get there again. So that's really positive. And there's two spaces to stick your photos on. Uh, further on in the book, it's got this page here. And it's called Reward Yourself. So, I, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I do good on a diet, I always think, oh, I've lost two pounds, so I can go and eat something really nice. And then kind of maybe have more than what I should and feel a bit guilty about it. So uh, rather than reward yourself with food, you can reward yourself with something nice. It doesn't have to be anything on here, but these are just ideas, I guess. So that's good. Um, and as you go through, there's just loads of different... Obviously the space is in for each day to write how your day went, what food you might have had or any tips that you can go back to. Um, what else? It's got spaces to write recipes in as well so that's good if you say like a new cinnamon recipe online. Or on one of these videos, you could write it in here, so you don't have to keep going back on the video. Um, so this is a good one. This one here, it says, you don't need to go to the gym to get your exercise. Um, throw yourself into everything you do with gusto. So it's basically kind of saying housework. So vacuuming, polishing, I think that's whisking. So we've got really good little hints and tips all the way through. Um, it has got this cover on the front that comes off and it looks like a little notepad so you can put this in your bag and take it with you wherever you go. Nobody has to know what it's for. No one will say or oh, like can I read your diet diary because you might not want that, it's quite personal or you could actually share it with your other friends who are doing some of world and they might get some tips off it. So for 2 99 I think it's really really good. You could buy a couple and um, if you know anybody that's doing some of world you could give them as a present um, or you could just grab a couple for yourself. So after 30 weeks, if you're still going good, you can start filming another one. So really excited about that. And when I start filming it in myself, I will start sharing what I've got in here. Okay. So the next thing is a recipe book. And I really love curries and Indian food. So when I've seen this, and I really love the Hairy Biters, and I've actually met them before as well, they're really nice. Um, I thought it was a bargain because it should have been £25, I got it for £10. Um, so yeah, so this is the Hairy Biters Great Curries. And obviously there will be recipes in here that on some well friendly but you can always adapt them and um, which is what I'll be doing so when I do do that I can share those recipes with you guys um, I'll just show you some of the recipes uh, there was one in here for a vegetable biryani so I think that will be quite similar well friendly I think the only things really would be flour and oil so, and like the Indian ghee, like the butter, which you would have to obviously 
skip out. But that's a good favourite there. So Sagaleo, which is like the curry potatoes. And in this one, looking at it, the only thing that isn't Slimming World friendly is the ghee or the sunflower oil. So obviously you could use those, but you would have to sin them. Um, but to me, I'll probably just leave it out or just use the sunflower oil if I really need it to. But everything else in it is free, so potatoes, onions, all your herbs and spices. So that one looks really nice. And these are like, just serve four to six people, so if you make it, you could maybe freeze it or keep it for the next day as well. And there's quite a few vegetarian dishes, which would be slim and well friendly. Again, with this one here, aubergine and tomato curry. The only thing you would have to sin or leave out again is the ghee or the sunflower oil. And the teaspoon of castor sugar, so you could just use sweetener for that. So I think that's going to be quite a good book. Has a good saving as well. Um, I can definitely get some cinnamon world recipes out of there. I think those two are really good anyway now for trying to be more healthy. You know, they did the, the program where they, they both lost weight and were doing like really healthy eating and stuff. So I think now when they do their books, they're quite more conscious um, of health. So it's really good. Uh, and the next two things I'm really excited about because obviously I picked this up because I loved curries. But when I got to the tail, wait, let me see these. Slim and World recipe books were on the tail. And the first one I seen was the curry one. And I did think about putting the Harry Bikers one back, but I thought, well, probably going to have different ideas and things. So I got them both. Now, this should be $18.99 and I got it for £7. So that's really good. So this is from the works. And this has got 120 recipes in it. And they're all really nice. Um, just find the biryani one. So I really like biryani, so I'll definitely be trying this mixed vegetable biryani. However, I might put some chicken in or some like lean mints, make it like a keema biryani. And that one is um I think that's free. Yeah, that's free on extra easy. Which is what I do, extra easy. I think that's just the the best thing to do because you can have kind of both meat and I never got away with the green and red days, so I was chuffed when extra easy came about. Um, spinach dal, which looks really nice. And I think it tells you how to make the onion barges, which I have made onion barges before, but not cinnamon world ones. These ones were deep fried, so I never made the cinnamon world ones before, so I'd be interested to see how they come out. Just find a photo of them. So I think, I think that's the onion part you say, which look amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah, and there's the recipe for them. And if these are worth the effort, which you probably are. And they are one sin on green, one sin on original. And I think on extra easy, you would have to sin the flour because it's two ounces of gram flour. But apart from that, I think that's the only thing you need to sin. So it'll still be quite low in sins, and especially compared to like the ones you get at a deep fried. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Perry feast. And um, just save like a tenner on that one. And the next one is Cinnamon World Everyday Italian. Again, this should be 18, oh, sorry, 16.99. And I got this one for £7 as well. So have a look. Got some really nice fish dishes in here. I really love fish. I love salmon. This one looks lovely. So stuffed salmon rolls with white wine and lemon. And it looks like it's stuffed with garlic, lemon, fennel. That looks really nice. So I might try those. And oh, stuffed tomato with rice. I love anything like that. Stuffed peppers, anything stuffed with rice, absolutely love. I love boiled rice. I could just eat that on its own. And it's got actually a dessert section as well. Hello. You know what I'm looking for? Tiramisu. Well, not everyone likes tiramisu because it's got the coffee in it, but I absolutely love it. This one is chocolate and banana. Mmm. And it's serves four people and it's three and a half cents per serving on the extra easy so it's not bad at all and actually it gives you the sins for if you've done four portions or six portions out of it so if you made six uh, servings out of it it would just be two sins each that's even better and you make that with cork Fromage free, vanilla extract, strong coffee, sponge fingers. So that'll be where most of the sins come in the sponge fingers and the cocoa powder. Pretty much everything else is free. Oh, and a bit of chocolate to drizzle on. Mmm, so that's them. Recipe panna cotta. Oh my god. I'm definitely going to try that. I didn't think I liked stuff like that, but I tried it recently and I do. So if I make that, I'll let you know what it's like. <gasps> that looks amazing as well. Peaches and little dabbly yawn. I don't know how to say it. But that is made from peaches, egg yolks, masala wine and sponge fingers. Right, totally drooling now, sorry. So that is that one, that's from the works as well. So definitely worth it for £7. Got some really good recipes in there. Um, that's it from the works. Now, next thing is really exciting. Well, I got really excited anyway. So in Dalton Park, there is a Cadbury shop. Yes, a Cadbury shop. And it's cheap. So, 
I wasn't going to go in because I thought I'll only buy stuff. But I thought, well, if I do buy stuff, I'll try and make it five good sins worth chocolate. So, how cute is the bag? The bag was a pound, and it's only one of those little things, but I thought, oh, that's cute, and I would need to buy a carrier bag to put the stuff in, so I felt a little bit posh walking around with this full of chocolate. The little things. So the first thing which I'll show you is, oh, one thing I have to say about these though, when I was little they were so much bigger. Now the time, they're really skinny. But anyway, dairy milk, oh, bread oil, and these ones have got potting candy. These were five for a pound, so I got ten. Um, now, if I'm right, these are an 18 gram bar with 95 calories, so I think those are five sins. Yeah, five sins. But if I'm wrong, let us know. I do have the cinnamon world book so I can actually check. But if you're getting mad with us for saying the wrong things, you can comment below. So yeah, I got 10 of those for £2. That's quite good. It's a nice bit of chocolate when you fancy it. And next thing, these are quite high in sins, but I love them and because they're so crunchy and stuff, they last quite a while. So, these are a three pack of dime bars. And these were actually only 75 pence. And they are in date. So, they don't go out with date on the 27th of February, so next month. And these are 28 gram bars and they are 150 calories, so they're six and a half sins, I think. 140, yeah. So six and a half sins, but you know, the bars are quite, quite big. And I don't know about you, but I like to sort of nibble the chocolate off because the chocolate's quite thick on the top so chomp all that off and then eat a bit of the toffee stuff in the middle and then just do the same all the way down so it takes quite a while to eat them so yeah I eat our middle ones sorry um, the next thing is this six pack of flakes and these are 25.6 gram bars to be precise and these are these are seven sins I think I told you the wrong sins when I use all that. Oh, these are seven and a half. Well, you can't remember what I said. Seven and a half. And these plates are. Seven. These are seven sins and quite, you know, a good size bar. And the, I like these because the chocolate's like really like clags to the roof of your mouth, so it takes a, like a while to eat them and then the taste stays for ages. So they're good. And they were only, I think they were only a pound. 
So that's not bad. So I got, did get some bargains from the Cathy shop. So if you do live near Dalton Park, get yourself down. I had loads, I have had big bags and misshapes, which I nearly bought, but I thought, oh, that's really naughty. So I didn't. Right then. So the next lot of stuff's nothing to do with Simon World. But I just thought I'd show you anyway. So the first thing is from Claire's Accessories. Now, I don't know if you know that I'm quite childish. Um, but I got this Minions Calendar 2016. Love Minions. And it's got all different little scenes on for each month. And this was originally it was ten pound, and I got it for four pound. So proper bargain. And now I haven't got an excuse for forgetting anything, but I'm sure I still will. So. I thought I'd lost the other thing. Next thing is these and just plain little studs, cubic zirconia studs, really small round ones because I have, probably can't see, but two piercings here. I've lost the bottom stud and this um, hoop has lost a ball. Painful. So I've got these two replace them and these should have been five pound fifty and I got those for three pound eight five so that's quite good for little cubic zirconia studs and that's all I got from Claire's accessories now there is I don't know if there's these shops anywhere else around, I'm sure there will be, um, but I think this is the only one that I know of, which is a Dalton Park, and it is the Beauty Outlet, W7 Beauty Outlet, and it's just a massive shop um, with like all the makeup, nail varnish, Toilet these beauty items you could think of. Um, it's amazing. Could buy loads of stuff, but I restrained. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this W7 cleansing spot facial cleansing pad. Now, I've had one of these before from Primark. And not this brand like Primark own it was really really good but um with it being in the bathroom where it's kind of moist and warm a lot it's gone a little bit like minging so I thought I'd buy a new one um because it's not cheap enough this was two ninety nine should have been five ninety nine and all it is is like a little rubber it's got little tiny bristles on you can see and a hole for your finger so you just put it on and whatever face wash you use in the shower or like when you get washed you just wet this put some on wet your face and then you'll just rub it all over and then like once you're done just rinse this and then it's got a suction pad so then you'll just stick it to the tiles or wherever you want it really anywhere that you can stick one of these suction pads and it's just there for the next time so I really like these you think oh it's really soft like it won't do much 
but it really massages your skin and it feels lovely when you when you get out of the shower so I would recommend these um the next thing I got was this Calvin Klein eyeshadow and you can't see the colour very well but it is called Merlot so it's like a um, it's like a, a grey purple huh? and it's got like a tiny bit of shimmer in it and it should have been 9 99 but I got that for 2 99 and just see what the colour's like so it's quite it's not like really really dark but kind of looks like a bruise on the hand because the light's not very good but yeah, I think that'd be nice to put in the the creases. So I just like putting it kind of like around here on the brush and blend it in. Like if I'm going out, I don't tend to wear the dark eyeshadows the other day. So that was a good bargain for one ninety nine for Calvin Klein. And the last thing I got was. Similar to what I showed you at the start of the video, but this is from the Beauty Outlet and it is called Fat Lips, which is rather odd. And this is another like lip balm and stain. And I'll just take a first of all. I'm rubbish at getting these things off. plastic haven't came off but never mind. So this should have been cheap in any ways one ninety nine but I got it for ninety nine pence and it is the colour Ooh, what colour is it? It's called Smooch and on the back of here it says Intense colour lip balm and stain, so it's like a two in one stain lip balm, and it is extendable. And on the back it says it is designed, tested, and worn by the beauty brains at Look Magazine. So there we go. And I'm not showing up that well enough right on here. So it's quite a a pinky pink. It's kind of like a lip pink, I guess. Can't see it that well. Okay. So actually that eyeshadow and this lip stain will go quite well together, so I'll try those out soon. So that's all I got from the beauty shop. Um, some other things I'll mention that I've seen in there because I was really tempted to buy, but I didn't. Um, because I don't the things that they were I don't really need any of at the moment. It was hard not to buy them, but um, so the first thing which you might be excited about because I know a lot of people like the Victoria's Secret. Um, and they had the large size body sprays, it was in about four different um, scents and those were 14 99 each or two for £20, so I thought that was a really good box. 
but obviously I didn't buy any, I've already got one at home that I haven't used at all of yet, so. And the other thing was, um, well, there was three different kinds, but the one I liked the most was, it was a hand wash and a hand lotion, and it was in the scent of the Walls Twister Lolly, um, which I just thought was fab. They were only like a fiver reduced from a tenner, or you could get three for a tenner, so like that was a really good deal. It would be in, like a really good stock and filler, but I didn't buy any. But I can always go back for some, so. And I, I'm not getting paid to advertise this shop by the way, but I just thought there'll be some things that you guys would be interested in, so. Okay, so the last thing I'm really excited about this one is from Collectibles. And obviously now Christmas is over and done with. They are selling off all the Christmas items. And in particular, one of my favourite things, which is Yankee Candles. I love them. I love candles and waxed heart melts and I love putting them all together and it gets like a really nice fragrance. So the first one I got was a waxed heart melt and it is the panel raisin and I got this for one pound four pence. Should have been one forty nine. So it's like those little swirly buns with the raisins in. <sighs> Divine. So that's that one. And then I got, this was full price. Oh, and I've totally bashed it. So it's all gone bitty inside the packet. But this one is baby powder. Everyone loves the smell of baby powder. So fresh. Right, and the next thing, like I say, they sell all the Christmas ones up, but that doesn't matter if they're Christmas Eve because they smell nice. So this one is the Christmas cookie in the small jar. And this one should have been eight ninety nine, and I got it for four ninety nine. <sighs> smells amazing. Just smells like sweet, cakey, loveliness. No other way to describe it. Like buttery cookies. When you're on Clima Mill, you might not be able to eat cookies, but at least you can smell them in your candle. And the last one, oh. oh. Snowflake cookie. And I got it in the large jar. Large. And this should have been $21.99, and I got it for $12.99. So proper chuffed about that and this just smells like oh. <sighs> amazing thing. Um there's nothing else I can say, it's just amazing. It smells so good. So I can't wait to get these on the go all together and it'll just smell like one big sweet treat. So yeah, they were from collectibles, so I'm sure any collectibles near you will have these ones on sale. Um, that's all I got today. Um, so today is the last day of my Christmas holidays. I'm going back to work tomorrow. I will try my best to post a video tomorrow 
not exactly sure what it's going to be about yet. Um, but yeah. Press now. And I'll just burn my candles and it'll be okay. So, um, if there's any questions about what I've shown you today in this video, please do comment below. And if you do like my videos, can you please like them? And please subscribe to my channel. Um, from what I gather today, I mean, I'm not great with my YouTube account yet, but from what I gather, I've actually got two subscribers already, um, which is amazing. I've only been doing this a couple of days, and whoever you two people are, thank you so much. Uh, it really means a lot that people are enjoying my videos and what I've got to say and what I've got to show you all and um, so please stay tuned for my next video and thank you for watching so hopefully I'll see you tomorrow so thank you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe This laptop.